Hello everyone, my name is Marsha Nuts and today I'm doing a bracelet challenge. So I've actually done one of these videos in the past already and I'll leave the link to it in the card and in the description down below if you haven't checked it out already. And in that video I had a pattern already picked out and I randomized some colors and made that pattern with the colors that were chosen. So once I finished that video, that got me to thinking what other challenges I could do. And I came up with this concept for a challenge. So this time, similarly to last time, I'm going to be randomizing some colors. But different to how I already had a pattern picked out for last time, this time I'm going to be trying to pick out a pattern based on the colors that I get. I'm going to try and pick out a pattern that I think the colours that I get will work well in. But before we start, I just want to give a quick shout out to my patrons over on Patreon, especially to Sunshine, Tia, Izzy and Lisa who are my top supporters. It is my patron support that makes these videos possible. I'm actually using a brand new ring light that I got that I entirely funded off the support of my patrons. So thank you guys very much, your support really does help me out and make these videos much better quality. And of course this is optional, but if you two want to become a patron, there is a link in the description for you to check out and you can get exclusive perks for your donations. I had someone comment on my thread organization video recently saying, I wonder how long that organization lasted. And that comment really made me laugh because usually when I clean something or organize something, it really doesn't last that long. But this time, it's still very organized. These are the boxes that were organized in that video and they're still organized, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Anyway, let's get into one of them. I think I'm gonna be using this one, which is from this brand, Plie, I think it's pronounced. I got these threads off Amazon and I'm actually starting to run out of some of them. As you can see, when I open the box, some of the strings aren't there anymore. Like I have gaps here and there because I've actually been using them quite a lot. I really enjoy these threads. So I went ahead and bought myself another pack. So I'm gonna be winding these at some point in the future as well. I really do recommend these threads. They are, they're quite cheap. They have a nice color variety and I haven't noticed any issues with them. They, they hold up pretty well in my bracelets. Anyway, we're gonna be using this today and I'm gonna try to do it a little bit different from last time. So last time, if you remember, I picked out a bit of colors from each of the sort of categories, like a bit of greens, a bit of blues, etc., And then I randomized going from there. This time, I'm gonna try and randomize the entire thing. Now, I might end up with like a bunch of colors from sort of the same category, so a bunch of purples or a bunch of blues, but maybe I'll be able to use that as part of the challenge. So I'm gonna try that this time and see where it goes. So first of all, let me count how many strings there are here. There are 92 strings currently in this box. I think the pack originally comes with 100, but as I said, I have used up some of them, so there are currently 92, which is still quite a large variety. So there are 92 colors in this box. However, there is also black and white, which is not in this box, and which is separate because I keep my blacks and my whites separate from all of the colors. A lot of patterns use black and white, so I want to give black and white a little bit of an extra boost unlike all the other colors. I want there to be a higher likelihood of them being chosen so that then I can use them in my patterns if they are chosen. So since there are 92 colors here, I'm gonna sort of reference them as from one to 92, just like as I counted them. But also I'm gonna have 93, 94, 95, 96 be white, 97, 98, 99, and 100 be black. So that I'm gonna randomize a number from one to 100. If it's higher than 92, that means it's either black or white. So I'm sort of giving black and white four times the chance of being chosen than all the rest of the colors here. All right, so I'm gonna move this away for a second and I'm gonna bring my laptop in. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna randomize the number of colors used in the pattern. So I think the minimum number of colors I want is three. I would say two, but I think that would be a little bit boring if I come up with two. So I'm gonna go with three to maybe like seven because that feels like a nice sort of variety so of course as always I'm gonna leave all the websites and stuff that I use down in the description but right now I'm going to randomize a number from three to seven to see how many colors I'm going to be using in this challenge and it came up with five which is literally in the middle all right so now it's time to randomize the colors and we're gonna go from one to a hundred 63 is the first color that it comes up with. Let's check what color that is. Ooh, okay. 63 is this sort of brown color. I very rarely use this color. I'm genuinely curious to see what other colors it comes up with, 
and what sort of colour combination it's going to be because I'm a little bit worried. I don't really use colours like this, so I don't know where I would use it. Let's go ahead and generate the second colour. Second colour is number 45. Okay, okay. See, this is another brown, and I do feel like these colours do go well together. Now, once again, brown colours aren't usually colours that I work with, so I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I guess that's the point of the challenge, right? So let's try next. 55, okay. If that one was 45 and that one was here, I'm just gonna count from here. Ooh, it's come up with the green and this is sort of a light green. Let's see what it looks like. I like that. I think that is a decent color combination. I'm sort of already thinking what kind of bracelets I can create with this, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. I've still got two more colors to choose. 11. I'm scared that's a pink. 11 is a pink. Hmm, I don't like that. I'm scared. Pinks don't go with browns and greens. Okay, it's not exactly pink, it's like a pinkish purple. But still, this is not something you typically see with like browns and greens. And this color com- oh. And I thought this was going so well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, okay, let's randomize the last color. 87. I'm just gonna count backwards for this one. Okay, like see how this is a nice color combination. Like you can see a lot of bracelets being made with this. Then this happens. <laughs> like what is that? What is that? Um, at this point, I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna be doing. The green and the red, I can sort of see happening because I mean, it's green and red. You can really make anything with that. The browns by themselves, I can see happening. The browns with the green, I can see happening. Even the browns with sort of the green and the red. I can see happening. The purple, however, doesn't go with anything. It doesn't even go with the red that much. It's a completely different tone. But also if you watched my last challenge, you would have seen that there were different tones as well and it came out fine. So maybe I can salvage something from this and make a decent bracelet regardless. I am quite annoyed that none of the blacks and the whites were chosen since I literally gave them four times the chance to be chosen as any other bracelet. But that's not really how statistics work anyway, because if you think about it, it was an 8% chance that a black or white would be chosen, so I guess it's not that unlikely that none of them were chosen. Still really annoyed a little bit. So, now that that's done, I'm gonna put this box back where it belongs, and I guess we're gonna try to find a pattern that would work with this. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I've never done this before, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. But I think we're gonna start by going to one of these websites. And again, as with always, it's gonna be linked down in the description, all the websites that I am using. So we're gonna go here first. I think I'm gonna go with normal patterns for this challenge. I'm not really in the mood to do an alpha right now. We're gonna go with number of colors from five to five, because that's the only colors that we want. And I guess I'm gonna order them by views at the moment to see if anything really comes up that is really popular that I like straight away. Okay, so nothing really stands out to me right away. And I'm sorry, I'm looking down because my computer is down here. Um, nothing really sort of stands out to me right away. I guess sort of one of these patterns would be my best bet because this is sort of the type of pattern that you usually do when you just have like normal colors. But that is sort of what I did with the last challenge as well. So I don't really want to go do that again. This one looks like it could kind of work as well. It's really intense. I don't know how it would work though. So I have a dark brown and a sort of lighter brown, right? And I was thinking maybe the dark brown could be an outline to something. Maybe an outline to the lighter brown. I don't know, so that's just what's running in my head is that that could work as an outline. The sort of pinkish uh, purple color could maybe be like a highlight or something or maybe like dots. And then the green and the red could be just like background colors for something else. Um, but I don't know, I don't really have a clear vision right now, so I just, I think I'm just gonna keep searching at the moment. Something like this could work, potentially. So where the black is, that would be the dark brown, um, and then sort of the others would be just like the colors. Also, fun fact, this used to be my absolute favorite pattern of all time. Um, this was the first sort of big pattern that I ever made, and it, from then on, it just became my favorite pattern. I remember doing this in the sixth grade in Russia, which in the sixth grade in Russia, you are, well, so yeah, that was like a year or so into my bracelet journey. 
Um, so yeah, this used to be my favourite pattern. I'm going to leave that one there, just in case I want to go back to it. And let's check out some more. Ooh, I like this one, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, this one requires sort of a gradient, so I don't think necessarily it would work. But it does look really cool. Though it is a one two one two pattern. If you guys don't know what those are, one two one two patterns are patterns that consist mostly or entirely of backward forward and forward backward knots. And that is what this is. You can see that that is just entirely of backward forward and forward backward knots. And I hate those patterns, I can't do them. They are extremely frustrating to make, so definitely not. Maybe this one would work. I mean, again, I can see that this pattern sort of uses a gradient as well, but maybe if I use, again, for the black, I use the dark brown, and then the rest of them could be just colors alternating between each other. If I sort of arrange them, I don't know, they still look kind of ridiculous. I don't really like the colors. That were generated. This is this really is a challenge for me. Do you know what? I'm gonna try a different site right now. And again, linking all of these websites in the description. I'm gonna try this one. And I'm gonna go colours from five to five and order by See this this website doesn't have views, so I can't really order by popularity in that sense. They do have ratings, but I don't think the ratings really work that well because it's just like a number of five. Uh, and it, I don't know. I guess I'm going to order them by rating and see what that comes up with. Oh, I forgot to mention that I want only normal patterns, so let's do that. Okay, the reason I wanted to use this website is actually because on this site you can change the colours uh, and see what your colours will look like with the pattern that you're creating. Okay, let's check out this one. I don't think this one would necessarily really work that well. Let's click add a variation and see what it would look like. The border colour already is a brown colour. And this colour is already a green. So what I'm going to change is I'm going to make the background instead of a white, I'm going to make it sort of the pink that we have. These two are already the colours that we need. The only colours we have left is the bright red and the sort of lighter brown. So instead of the pink, I'm going to do the red. And this one, I'm just going to try the lighter brown. Sort of like that. Let's click save and test and look at the monstrosity that has been created. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's terrible, <laughs> oh my god, I'm telling you, the purple ruins everything. I think if any other colour was, like literally, the purple really ruins everything because everything else sort of works somewhat decent together, but the purple is just like in your face. Okay, what if I change the purple, like let's switch them places, let's switch this colour with the purple. I don't know if that's better or worse. Definitely not better. None of these colours really work well as a background, do they? Okay, I'm gonna leave that open. <laughs> let's search for some more patterns. Maybe let's try find a pattern that doesn't really have a background colour because I feel like those would work slightly better. <laughs> like, I don't really think this would work that well, but let's just try. Add a variation. I do think that is a pretty cool pattern though, just like for a normal bracelet, not this monstrosity. Okay, let's do a dark brown for the black. And then what are the other colors? So we've got an outer color, which is sort of the orange in this one. Let's try that to be the lighter, which it already is, sort of lighter brown. Then we've got the inner colors. Uh, let's go green and red. We're just having a trial and error right now. Let's go green and red. The red is a little bit more sort of in your face red. And then this one is the dreaded purple, like that. Save and test. I'm actually genuinely scared to scroll down and look. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. But also I feel like I messed up the colors because that's not exactly what I wanted anyway. Um, so I think I wanted, yeah, I mixed up the red and the purple in this one. So let's try again. Let this one be the purple. Not too bad. Don't get me wrong. It is completely monstrous and I would never have created this. But that, like, it's not, it's not as bad as I imagined it would be. What if I change the dark brown and the light brown? Yeah, no, that, that is, well. Uh, that is worse, definitely worse. I'm gonna change it back. Okay, I'm gonna leave this open as an option. So we've got this option and this option. Okay, I'm definitely not making this. So this is our primary option at the moment, but let's still have a look at some other patterns as well. Okay, what about this one? 
I kind of like this one. Like, I definitely like the pattern. Ooh, it already has like a bunch of variations. I see other people also like this pattern. Let's see what I can create with it. So we've got the black color, which we can make the brown color. And we've got the inside, which is the white. So that would be our lighter brown color. What else do we got? Pink would be the green. And then the orange would be the red. And this one would be the pink. Please be good. Why? <laughs> There's no way to make this okay! Oh, God. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Not okay, not at all okay. What if I change the colors up a bit? Like, okay, let's try this again. That's not as bad. I thought that would be worse. Still kind of ugly. Okay, let's leave the brown to be that. What if I make the outline red, sort of like this, and then the inside to be this. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what if I switch the green and the pink? Okay, I feel like I'm just like trying to persuade myself that it's not that bad. Like, it's okay, it's not. It's not okay, it is that bad. There is no fixing this. Like I'm sort of switching all the colors around, trying to see like, what if this fixes it? What if that makes it better? Yeah, there's no, there's no fixing this. It's just a terrible color combination. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave that open as an option. Let's look back at this one. See, I like this one better. I definitely, I definitely like this one better than the other one. I feel like this is the one that I'm gonna end up making. Uh, this one, yeah, I'm just gonna delete that. That one just doesn't work. This one, nah, delete that. That just doesn't work either. I'm gonna keep this one open because I feel like that is the one that I'm gonna end up doing. That's just, I'm not gonna lose hope entirely yet. Even though that one is sort of growing on me, I'm just gonna have a little look. Ooh, I've been looking for this pattern. This is completely unrelated to the challenge, but I've been looking for this pattern for a very long time. I've been wanting to make this bracelet for a very long time, and I've been looking for this pattern, and I just randomly stumble upon it while I'm making a challenge. That is cool. I am saving you. By the way, my accounts on these websites are always linked in the description, so you can find me. And if at any point you're like looking for a pattern to make, you can sort of go through my to-dos or my favorites and see what kind of patterns I'm thinking of making. Um, so yeah, just a tip to you. Please just try not to message me on those websites because I very rarely check my messages on there. If you want to message me, the best bet is Instagram. That is where I reply most often. But yeah, even though that is a pattern that I was looking for, I don't think that is one that will work for this. Okay, you know what? At this point, I'm on page eight and nothing really is working, so I think I'm just gonna end up going with this one. Like, the more I look at it, the more it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> like, it's not... It's not great, obviously, it's not amazing, but it doesn't look that bad. Also, this is a pattern where you can really easily do the triangle ends because you can literally see that there is a triangle here and a triangle there. So you can start and finish in the form of a triangle quite easily. I'm gonna start making this one. Let's see, how many strings do I need? Yeah, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking this is the pattern for me. So, I'm gonna start cutting my strings. So I'm cutting my string and I ran out of the brown. But when I was organizing my collection, I did put the numbers of all the colors onto the bobbins so I can easier keep track of them. And I also did buy an extra pack of this brand so I can refill all of the colors once they run out. But what I didn't realize is that absolutely none of these colors match that color. It's the exact same pack that I bought that color from and none of these match. Like there are some browns that look similar but they're not the same. If you saw just now, that one was 598, this was 538, this is 3781, and so on. Like, all of these colors, not a single one matches. So basically, even though I have the exact same pack that I bought, I'm a little bit frustrated by that. Like, how do you sell the exact same pack 
from the exact same Stella from the exact same store and not have the same threads in the pack. I'm baffled by that. But basically I ran out of the string. I did manage to find a string that's somewhat similar. You can still see that they're a little bit of a different tone and this one is this one is 801 and it is a little bit of a different tone but it's the closest that I'm going to get so I'm just going to continue with that and I guess it's just going to look a little bit different in the bracelet but there is absolutely nothing I can do about it now so I'm a little bit annoyed and I guess this is the only solution right now so I'm just going to get on that. So I finally cut all my string and I've arranged it onto my workspace and I think I'm going to do triangle ends for both the start and the finish but yeah I'm going to get right into this and uh, once I finish the bracelet I'll be back. And so now I am done. Are you ready to see the result? Voila, it is a bracelet. <laughs> Uh, this is a terrible, terrible monstrosity as I've been calling it throughout this entire video. I think that is a very fitting name for this bracelet, the monstrosity. Um, I in no way, shape or form at all like this. As I did say previously, I do like the browns and the greens together. I even do think that the red sort of fits in here. Uh, but I don't know, all together with the purple and with I just I just don't like it. I just don't. I feel like this is a very stark contrast to how the first challenge went down because because in the first challenge I also didn't really like the color combination. Not as much as I didn't like this one, but I didn't like it. And that one turned out really good. This one didn't. So you might say that I sort of failed this challenge, but I still hope that you got some entertainment out of it. Now, I do have some things that I want to say to you. If one of you, by any chance, wants this bracelet, you are able to get it. I want somebody to take this off my hands, I want nothing to do with it. This is like a child that I am disowning, I do not want anything to do with it, so I'd be very happy to give this away to somebody who for some reason wants it. So down in the description there is a link to a Google form page on which I will be asking you three things, one of which would be your email address, one of which would be your Instagram handle, and the third one would be why do you even want this bracelet in the first place, because it's gross, why would you want it? <laughs> um, no, but Seriously, just sort of describe in a couple of words why you would like to have this bracelet. I'm gonna give it a couple of days, I don't know exactly how many, so try and get your details in as soon as possible. And if you don't see a form in the description, that means I've already closed it. I'll be choosing one person from the list and I'm gonna contact them and ask for the address and then send this out to somebody. So yeah, that is it. I am most definitely not gonna be posting this to my Instagram, so sort of my YouTube has an exclusive look at this bracelet. I don't want to be associated with this at all, so I'm never gonna be sharing it anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video though. I hope you enjoyed to see my pain and suffering. I probably will do another one of these in the future just because I do find them quite fun, but also if you have any other challenge ideas, I would love to see them down in the description. If you ever make anything based on any of my videos, I always love to see your guys' creations as well, so don't forget to tag me in posts on Instagram that you make. Another thing before I go, I have a pretty exciting announcement to make. I have opened a P.O. box, which means that you guys can now send me mail if you want to. And I'm going to leave the address for that down in the description as well. And that is, and this is very exciting to me because I know that a lot of you guys have been wanting to send me stuff and I'm super excited to receive mail from you guys. Now some things that I would be interested in are maybe letters telling me a bit about yourself and how you found my channel and what bracelets are to you and what they mean to you. Maybe a postcard from the place that you're from. I love to know where you guys are from. Or maybe even bracelets if you're willing to part with them. I would love to receive mail from you guys. Now I just want to say please don't feel like you need to spend money on me. That is not the point of the PO box. I just want to have a way of connecting with you guys and I'd be more than happy if you just send me a letter. But also if you can't send anything at all that is also completely fine. Don't feel obligated to do anything. But as I said the address is going to be in the description and I will be opening everything on camera and I can't wait to receive my first mail from you guys. Now before I go, just a quick thank you to all my patrons once again, and the link for that is also in the description. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!